Hello everyone and welcome back to another video covering the OCR Computing GCSE course. Uh, we're following on directly from the last topic, um, which is all about binary logic. Please, please um, check out the last video if you haven't watched it already because literally we're doing exam questions today and we're actually we're sort of moving on slightly with the topic from last video. So last video we looked at what binary is briefly, we also looked at different logic gates, but now we are combining them in circuits and testing out um, our knowledge with exam questions. So I'm going to go through three different exam questions from three different uh, OCR papers and um, here we have to combine some circuits um, and draw some circuits which um, is very important because those are often wor worth a fair few marks. So um, unfortunately the only negative hopefully in this video is that I'll be getting my uh, graphics tablet out uh, which I'm notoriously bad at using because um, I have two two monitors and it sort of stretches my writing a bit um, so I have to write really small anyway um, let's get straight into it so the first question we're given and this is from the January 2013 paper um, it asks us to state the output of each of the following logic circuits for the inputs given so the first two it actually gives us it tells us it's a NOT gate so a NOT gate essentially does the inverse of um, our input. So the opposite of so the inverse is the same as the opposite. Um, so the opposite of zero is one. I think that's fairly standard. The NOT gate is probably the simplest gate in my opinion. It just does the opposite of whatever it is. We can also work backwards. So if we got given one, we could work backwards to zero. Um, here we have an AND gate, and this is uh, true only if both are true. Oh, that writing is absolutely appalling. I do apologise. So this gate means that both zero, both um, inputs have to be true in order to the output to be true. So um, um, by the way, if you're a bit confused with me saying true when I'm talking about zeros and ones, yeah, you probably should watch the last video. But um, yeah, um, zero is representing false, one is representing true. So the AND gate needs both to be true for it to output true. Or, only one is true, therefore it results in zero being outputted. Okay, slightly more complicated now, we're going to fill in a truth table. So here we get a circuit diagram with actually two logic gates combined for this circuit. So we have a uh, NOT gate here and an AND gate. So a NOT gate is actually one of the inputs. So you can see here written as the output sort of formula. We um, It's a bit like algebra, you work out um, what's in the brackets first, not, not necessarily algebra, just math, maths basically. You need to work out what's in the brackets first, so we work out this input. So, um, and then we work out the uh, other input. But we do this from our logic, from our truth table. Um, so let's first fill in the gaps in our inputs. So there's only four possible combinations for these two outputs. The other one being uh, Q being one and P being zero and P being one and Q being one as well. And that fills in all, all the possible combinations um, as we've got for binary uh, zero here, we've got two, we've got one and we've got three, which fills in all, all of our gaps. So um, our output here, we need to work through this bit logically, a bit of a bit of a puzzle. So um, here, first things first, like I say, we need to do what's in the brackets first. We've got to inverse this because it's a NOT gate. Um, our input zero, and we need to inverse it. We need to inverse it to get our output. So the opposite of zero is one. So then we have one and uh, one because we're on this little row. One and one, and that means it results in one. Because like I say, an AND gate's true only if both are true. So now um, you may well see where this is going. We've got to inverse this. So this will be inverse to zero. This is inverse to one, like I mentioned before, um, and then it will be 0 and 1 as our um, AND gate and that will result in 0, zero because of um, not both of them aren't true so here's the mark scheme if you don't believe me uh, yeah so shows you here what you get your marks for you will get um, some oops you will get certain marks um, for your working sort of thing or as you go along um, right question number two uh, very similar in fact almost identical first part to what we just did um, it shows that there's only so many questions they're going to throw at you um, so again we have a, uh, a NOT gate here and an AND gate in this example we don't actually tell you which one's which you'd have to know this with prior knowledge, the other one was a bit kinder they actually gave you um, which gate's which so again we're going to fill in a truth table uh, so we literally 
first things first for a i and pair a we have to inverse it because it's a not gate so if we just write it by the sides this would be what oops oh that's rubbish It'd be one and uh one and one equals one as our output opposite of one is going to be zero um and zero and zero false and false equals false um opposite of one is obviously zero so opposite of true is false and false and true equals false as well because it's an AND gate both have to be true for it to be true everything else is false so now we have to do something a bit more exciting I mean depending on how you look at it we're going to draw a circuit diagram to represent um, not A and B right I haven't actually looked at this before so I probably should have a little think about it um, so our output P we need first things first we need to do, what we, do what's in the brackets and then uh, inverse it so we need to draw a AND gate first I'm looking at this for the first time hence I'm being a little bit slow right let's see if I can pull this off oh no 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 that's absolutely appalling let me try that one more time so we're going to draw an AND gate if I can't quite manage it you might have to bear it, bear it in mind, and then we draw our not gate. That should be slightly easier to draw, or just about. And then so our outputs P, A, and B. That is the worst logic diagram we've ever seen, but um, I think we'll find if I'm correct. Yes. So the mark scheme. Um, yeah. So one zero zero and faintly drawn same as mine although a bit better a bit neater um, so yeah you, you'll get your marks you can also draw a, um, uh, a NAND gate I think maybe not maybe not but that's not in your course so it doesn't really matter um, so another simple question this is quite a nice one I think um, this is from June 2012 um, and we're simply filling in the gaps so we first here have an OR gate. We haven't looked at OR gates in this video. We did in the last video. So an OR gate either can be true and it will result in true. We have a true and false, but the true is looked at here, so we, we get a resulting one. Here we have a NOT gate, and here we've got to work backwards. So we do the inverse of so something's been inversed to make to make false, and obviously that would be true. There's only two options here. Um, here we have an AND gate and a NOT gate. So um, uh, this will result, 0 and 1 will result in 0 because um, both have to be true for it to be true and then the inverse of uh, 0 is going to be 1. Uh, here we've got to work backwards again we have a uh, an OR gate and a NOT gate so work backwards from 0, inverse of 0 is 1 and then so if this is 1 uh, either has to be either has to be Either of these two inputs has to be 1 for it to equal 1, and we've got a 0 already, so this must be 1. And the mark scheme goes along with this. So uh, that covers this video. Um, very important that you understand what I've talked about. Some of it, um, it makes little set. Uh, some of it takes a while to understand, um, but it's worth persisting with because this will make this will get you a lot of marks in the exam if you understand. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.